welcome back friends i hope you understand what is deep copy in the last video session we have studied what is deep copy operation and how to implement deep copy operation and also i told that there is another way to implement deep copy operation that way is copy constructor using copy constructor we can implement deep copy operation that example i will explain in this video okay let me copy this customer class as a employee class if you want to implement a uh, deep copy operation using copy constructor we don't have to use this clonable interface so let me remove that also we don't have to use clone method then we need to introduce new employee constructor that constructor must accept employee as a argument then inside this we need to call this constructor inside this we need to call this constructor so using this keyword i am calling that constructor then employee dot a so i am calling this constructor here by using this keyword then passing integer value by accessing this attribute a attribute from this object from this object okay let me use this employee object i'm copying deep copy main as a deep copy main to let me remove all the program here employee em, employee one equal to new employee of 100 i am passing that meaning you are calling this constructor right huh? so you are calling this constructor now this employee one dot a must have 100 value then i want to copy this value to in another object for that i'll be using this constructor okay so employee employee 2 equal to new employee of employee 1 i am passing so this employee 1 dot a is having a 100 because i am passing a 100 so employee dot a will have a 100 correct so employee 1 dot a will have a 100 then here employee employee 2 equal to new employee of i am passing this employee 1 dot object whenever whenever initialize this constructor this this part will get executed so employee this employee object is having a value called 100 so here this of employee dot a i am saying that meaning you are passing 100 value by calling this constructor whenever call this constructor this constructor using this keyword it will create a new employee object it will create a it will create new employee object with the unique reference so this will this constructor will return a this constructor will create a new employee object with a unique reference okay so whenever say employee employee 2 equal to new employee of this employee 1 it will create a new employee object that object assigned to employee 2 now this employee 1 and the employee 2 will have a same 100 value let me print that employee 1 dot a employee 1 dot a then employee 2 dot a employee 2 dot a so both both is having a 100 value but this object will have a unique reference this object will have a unique reference both are will have a new unique reference okay whenever you change any object value here i am going to change this object value equal to 200 what will happen since both object are using unique reference that is 
each object having its own reference right so this will print 100 this will print 200 here i am changing emp employee 2 dot ta equal to 100 this 100 value available only employee 2 object this is never reflected in employee 1 because both the object will have a unique reference so this is another way of copying an object using a copy constructor this will create a deep copy operation whenever you call this constructor it will create a new reference for each object okay if you change any value in this object that value never reflected in other object that value available only inside this object because it has a its own reference so in this case right we don't have to use clone method we don't have to cast we don't have to cast object to respective class in the in, when you look at the customer right sorry when you look at the deep copy main whenever copy customer object i am using customer one dot clone then i am casting right? this uh, this uh, manipulation and all not required when we use copy constructor okay i hope you understand how to implement deep copy operation using copy constructor if you have any question please comment out definitely i will reply if you like this video please share it to your friend circle i'll going to upload many java interview questions which is coming from microservices spring boot hibernate jpa and the core java please subscribe this channel and click bell icon for regular updates until then bye bye from suresh